Fudge was actually based on my son Larry when he was a toddler. He wasn't as outrageous as Fudge. I mean, it's fiction, you know. But he did suck four fingers on his left hand, and he did um, have little temper tantrums like all toddlers do, and he did want to eat his uh, supper under the table. And so I let him. And I can remember a friend walking in once and saying, Judy, you better stop him from doing that. He is going to grow up to be so weird. And I am here to tell you that he's all grown up, and he's a lovely man, and um, he eats his dinner at the table with everyone else. Uh, he was, we used to say, Larry is an interesting toddler. And you know what? He's an interesting man. The fudge books were written over so many years that eventually I had to change the electronics in them um, because, you know, it goes from Peter's in fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. And yet I wrote them, I think, between Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing and Super Fudge was, I don't know, eight years, then maybe 10 years, 12 years, I don't know, a very long time. Yes, Larry was all grown up. Fudge, of course, took on his own life. I mean, by the time I wrote Super Fudge, Larry was a teenager, I think. So um, while Larry was the original inspiration, and kids love it when they meet Larry, and, and they say, you were really Fudge, and they look way up because he's, he's very tall. Um, and he says, yeah, I really was Fudge. He likes it now. <laughs> Fudge took on his own life. and. I don't know. You know, I put them all together. I brought all the characters together for Fudgemania, and I said, I'm never, ever doing this again. And I meant it. You know, I married off, I, I married off um, Sheila's grandfather, Buzzy Sr., to Peter's grandmother, Muriel, and I said, this is it. It's the grand finale. And then what happened, you know, I had a grandson, and his favorite character was Fudge. We used to have to play the Fudge game when he was little. And I had to be Fudge, and he got to be Peter. It drove the whole cra it drove the family crazy. Um, but Elliot loved it. And so I had to write a book, and the, one more Fudge book to dedicate to Elliot. And now truly, the Fudge series, that's it. There isn't any more. I don't want Fudge to ever get any older.